Before we move forward, Amy and I want to give a couple of shout outs to guys who were key in the victory over the Raiders last weekend. I got Robert Woods, four catches, 85 yards, a 41 yard catch in there, a 21 yard punt return. When I think about Robert Woods, two words come to mind, consummate professional. Yeah, I mean, ever since Robert has come in here, he's been reliable, he's been dependable. You know, we put a lot on his plate. He's, he's learned the offense. He's tough. You know, he's a reliable target for Ryan in the passing game. He does a really good job blocking in the run game. And then, you know, Phillips didn't play uh, versus Vegas, so he punches in there as a punt returner. Really breaks one to set us up before half to get three points. So really uh, enjoy him being on the team and certainly what he's done for the team. What about someone like Ben Jones? There's already two new guys on the offensive line. Then you add in a new left tackle. Talk about all of the different things that Ben Jones has to do just to get the offense in line. Smart, tough, dependable, captain, leader. He does a lot you know, throughout the course of practice with calls, with checks, making sure those guys are on the same page, certainly in the game. He's tough, like he loves to practice. Uh, he never wants to come out despite any bump or bruise he might have. Just really embodies everything we're about as a football team. And he's really, you know, one of the glue guys that keeps the offense certainly in check, the line certainly in check, but really the team in check. I want to talk about this week's opponent, Indianapolis Colts. They beat Kansas City last Sunday, 20-17. to What were your takeaways from that Colts victory over the Chiefs? Yeah, I mean, I thought defensively they really pressured the pass quite a bit. You know, they moved the front a lot to get some pressure into the pocket, to create some you know, disruption off the edge, to get Mahomes out of there and, and run it around. Offensively, they got the tight ends involved, and then they had Pittman back, they had Pierce back. I think Pittman had eight catches, Pierce had three, and then Taylor and Hines. Both of those guys, you know, we know them, we play against those. I think they combined for 120 yards receiving and running on the day as well. How is new quarterback Matt Ryan impacting what the Colts are able to do on offense? He's certainly seen a lot. You know, he's played a lot of years in this league for, you know, for a long time. He's smart. He makes good decisions. He's good with the football. I think he's completed 73% of his passes against Kansas City. He's getting guys in the you know, right calls. He's another one that's a veteran pro uh, that does a lot of things really, really well. What is the challenge to stopping Indianapolis running back Jonathan Taylor? Well, it's tough, Mike. You know, he's he's got, you know, he's he's thick. He's got a nice stature. He's got excellent feet in the hole. He's got an outstanding burst through traffic. And then once he gets, hit, you know, hits clean air, he's really got speed to take it the distance. That coupled with the fact that, you know, he's really good out of the backfield catching the football. Just an overall excellent skill set for the running back spot. Indy's defense has been really solid in 2022. Are they doing anything different under new defensive coordinator Gus Bradley? Well, you know, Gus has called a lot of plays in this league for a couple teams. You know, I think you see some of the things that he did uh, with the Chargers that he did in, in Jacksonville uh, with that four-man line, moving, attacking. He's getting the safeties involved down around the line of scrimmage a lot. And he's got a lot of weapons over there, you know, with Buckner and, and Grover, Stewart in the middle, Pay, Nick Yannick, who he had in Jacksonville off the edge. The, the linebackers are fast. They've got players at every level in the secondary. So he's really using all of those pieces to put them in a good spot. Finally, John Robinson, as we wind up talking ball presented by Duncan, how do the Tennessee Titans go to Indianapolis and win this Sunday? Well, I mean, I think defensively, we got to stand up to this offensive line. It's a big, formidable offensive line. We got to get pressure on, you know, the veteran Matt Ryan. Uh, we got to tackle these two backs. We got to cover their, you know, their playmakers, Pittman Pierce, the tight ends that they're getting involved. And then offensively, like we just talked about, we got to handle that movement up front, all those pieces they've got. Uh, on the you know in the front seven and make sure we're we're protecting uh, Ryan to throw the ball, creating run lanes for Derek so we can run the football.